I think we've understood the point. We've come to the conclusion that streamers are a different breed of human being, right? They do insane things for attention online, and of course, that is kind of what they're created to do. We have streamers who make weird, predatory jokes on Fortnite, and then we have streamers joining organizations overseas that, uh, commit terrible acts, and war crimes, even. And, uh, of course, there's other situations, the more big streamers like Kai Sinat and the riots in New York, but today I wanted to dig into another small streamer named Irby, who had <laughs> subjected his mod to what is essentially, like, medieval torture. <laughs> on stream uh, for bits. So essentially, the streamer Irby, who has about 8,000 followers on Twitch, subjected his mod, Costa, to <laughs> three days in a dark closet. And if they survived the three days, he would get a car. He would get an actual vehicle to drive, which I think is a pretty awesome deal, right? I mean, getting a car is very difficult. They're expensive. So being able to do a three-day challenge in a closet, that doesn't sound that hard. Just shut down your body for a few days and just eat your snacks whenever you get them. But it wasn't that simple. See, when Irby does challenges, there's a lot of stakes to them. I'll play his channel trailer real quick just to give you a little taste of what his content is like. First of all, I want to say, Irby, that channel trailer is peak. I love the music. That is amazing. But yeah, he does a lot of different things. You saw from a different setups. He had various things like he was in a casket or like he was in like a bathtub covered in some red substance. He does a lot of, of really large scale things, which surprises me that he only has 8,000 followers. He deserves a lot more than that for the things he creates. But as of recently, he decided to divert his the attention away from him and not be the subject of his own torture for this event. He put his mod, Costa, in a closet it and locked him there for three days with the promise of a car and rather than just sit in a dark closet there are challenges you could get if viewers donated bits and for clarification bits are like the v bucks of twitch they are the currency that you can use to donate you could donate dollars you could donate subs but bits are kind of like the thing that goes through twitch and like one bit is one penny so 100 bits is a dollar i think you can understand the point at this moment um and <laughs> some of the donations weren't exactly that high see for the very low price of about a quarter, you can flashbang, you can activate Discord light mode on this guy in the middle of a dark closet. Which is insane, because you already know that was abused violently. And then, if you go up and add another quarter to that deal, for a two quarters, 50 cents, you can do a TTS message. Which is just your chat message being read out loud on a loudspeaker in front of this... this kid in like a small closet which i feel so bad for because chat is an egregious place i would rather be in the wastelands of fallout 4 than a twitch chat being read out loud to me through a loudspeaker i would cry and it increases with every increment. We have 75 bits, we got three quarters, almost a dollar to play a random sound effect, which I assume is similar to like Blurp, where it, when I'm on stream you can activate Blurp and it just plays like a random sound of your choice. Wait a damn... Oh, that was you! I was like, what was that?! That was Blurp! That was not a sound I've ever heard before! Oh my god! Which I think is pretty silly. It's probably better than a TTS message. And the more expensive they get, the worst they get. For 250 bits or $2.50, um, you can shoot him with a nerf gun, which is just imagine not knowing when you're gonna get shot. I could I could take being shot with a nerf gun. That's that's not a problem. It's like being flicked on the side of the head if you're shot on the side of the head. <laughs> but imagine not knowing that you're randomly gonna be shot at any moment for three days in a dark closet where you can see nothing and are being inundated by terrible noises all the time. <laughs> I would cry. I would want to escape so fast. We're gonna go up the scale and then we're gonna show actual footage from the event. So we have, for 500 bits or $5, you can feed Costa a random treat. Now, I don't know what that means. I don't know if he's feeding him, like, some Fortnite slurp juice. What is he giving him? Like, is he giving him dog treats? They don't really specify, because there is another tier, there's an echelon, where you can give him an actual meal. See, for a thousand bits, before we get to the meal, a thousand bits is a goddamn water cannon. Which, if you think being shot randomly with a nerf gun in the middle of a dark closet, not knowing when for three days is terrible, imagine being shot with a water cannon while you're trying to sleep. While you're trying to, like, exist. And then, of course, the final tier, the final echelon is 2,500 bits, or $25 for, uh, NB, or Irby, to go and get Costa a meal. 
a fast food meal, so not exactly gourmet, but still something to hold him over in the moment. So, there's a lot of different things in this event that could make him have a very bad time. And I'm going to show you a clip real quick that just kind of <laughs> properly visualizes the situation for you. The guy who's literally 33 years old. Just remember, if you leave now, you get the Iron Gator 2. We're all rooting for you, dude, and we love you. The laughing annoying orange in the background actually sold it for me. Like, that was the funniest part. It sounded like the fetch me their souls from the Call of Duty zombie, so I just imagine this guy's soul leaving his body. I mean, it looks like it left his body. He's like dead still at the end of this video, just in silence. He's just a broken man. Uh, uh, uh. I think that video in itself was a perfect representation of what happened during that stream. I mean, you got to see him not only catatonic on the floor, but you got to get a representation of the water cannon, the TTS, the media share, and the flashbang. This poor man was subjected to actual torture with the promise of a car. And you want to know how long he lasted in this three-day challenge? I'll give you a second. We'll put it on the clock. A little three, a two, one day. He lasted one day and gave up. He, there's a little thing of, like, the confetti coming out because he had been leaving after one day because he couldn't handle it anymore, which is justified. I mean, I wouldn't be able to handle that either. I don't blame him. I can barely handle that kind of thing in an open room like this. Imagine being in a small closet, a dingy little closet with no lights. <laughs> of course, since he wasn't able to win the challenge, Irby did take him out and not get him a car, but he got him... <laughs> <laughs> a matchbox, which I guess, with a little bit of minor body damage, I'd consider it a bit of a W anyway. He's won. At the end of the day, he has won. But of course, with challenges going viral like this, there arises copycats. And of course, that was the subjecting a Twitch mod to torture, but this is actually a Twitch streamer himself subjecting himself in this situation. It released about a day after this one. <laughs> He, Isidore, this is the streamer, Isidore, uh, popped up for, let's get a video of it. So, this is different. We have, the 25 is a flashbang, 50 is TTS, 200 is a ping pong ball shooter, which probably hurts more than a nerf gun. 400 or sub is a leaf blower, 500 is June gives me a treat, which is his girlfriend. Uh, 750 is a water shooter, and then 2500 June throws an egg at me. So, there is not even a positive one in this situation. It is quite literally just, <laughs> bad. Torture. And he looks pretty fine in this video, right? Like, he looks like he's doing all right. He, he, he's getting through, just with minor inconveniences. And it clearly gets worse later. <laughs> he's just... He's rolling with the punches, I'm gonna be real. I respect it, though. And it looks like he... Okay, he's gotten pretty far into the challenge. <laughs> Oh my god, this poor soul, these people doing this. And I see a lot of comments of people being like, why would you do this? Like, why would you subject yourself to this for clout? And to me, I think it's kind of hilarious, right? I mean, it's the same as subjecting yourself to a 24-hour stream or a hot tub stream if you're not, like, in a bathing suit. I did one of those a little while ago. I think it's pretty funny. I don't see the problem with it. I think it's just kind of like someone doing something goofy for the sake of some attention. There's a clip, another clip I saw where it shows his girlfriend <laughs> with the egg. <laughs> Oh no! And he's shirtless at this point, by the way. He's a little decrepit. This is a few hours in. Oh god. <laughs> and he got flashbang! Oh my god, it's so funny. It's so funny, man. And of course, this goofball is still live. He is still live at this moment. And I decided to do uh, the honors of purchasing 25 bits. So I'm gonna gift them live. <laughs> I'm gonna gift 25 bits right now. Let's see what I can do. How do you- How do you gift 25 bits? Let's do it. Alright, I sent 25- Yes! 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 I did it! I contributed! <laughs> Let's go! Anyway, that- <laughs> But of course, that's about it for now. I just want to cover it because it seems to be a rising phenomenon in streaming. You're probably going to see more of this coming soon, and who knows? Maybe I'll do it myself. I don't really have a closet that I can utilize. That one's full of garbage. So, I- <laughs> But who knows? I love hopping in on bits like that, but whatever. For now, I'm going to be hopping out of here. Subscribe if you are new and stick around with future videos i'd love to see you around don't forget to like a, me as well hit the like button smack it with your little, little grabbers your little grippers not your grippers don't do that <laughs> so you can see me on your homepage in the future and of course for the song of the day that <laughs> the people who are stuck in that closet i would consider are crybaby so i wanted to recommend crybaby by <laughs> kate's elephant which is actually a pretty good song i've been trying to be diverse with my recommendations which is probably turning the song of the day uh like album that i'm creating on spotify into like an amalgamation of terror but 
but maybe it'll be something artistic by the end of the year. Maybe it'll be something cool. But for now, I'm hopping out of here. Thank you guys for being here. I uh, recommend the video to your friends. Share me around. Share me around. You guys are at school now. Tell your friends to subscribe. Get them on. Get them in the homies. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. And as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, good night. And uh, 100 likes, I'll do it myself. Sure. <laughs> I don't even know how, but I'll do it. Why not? Let's, let's do this.